Happy Monday. I'm glad you joined me here at Nini's Nest for a story. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. It's called Nini's Nest and choose all for your notifications so that you can come back and read all the many books that I have um, read online and that you can see the newest ones coming up. So also click the thumbs up if you like this book about Splat the Cat. This is our story for today and it's a beginning reader by Rob Scotton and it's called Pl Splat the Cat, Splat and Seymour, Best Friends Forevermore. And since it's a beginning reader, I'm gonna to speak to parents who might be listening in or watching with you. In the front cover, there are 18 words that you can find in this book and they all have the same sound or they look like this, O-R-E, O-R, O-U-R, and O-A-R. And if those letters come at the end of a word, they make the sound or. So I want you to be looking for those and listening for those while I'm reading about Splat and his friend Seymour. And then you can come back and read it later. Uh, with your parents and practice these words. And I'll just give you a minute to get, take a screenshot of these 18 words in the beginning. Then you might could work on them without the book. Okay, hope you've had enough time to do that. I'm gonna turn to the title page and you see Splat the Cat and Seymour, his best friend. And you also see there were several other people who worked with Rob Scotton to write this book. Rick Farley did the cover. The text is by Elisa Heyman and the interior or these illustrations are by Robert Ebers. So we'll begin on this first page where you see Splat the Cat in his kitchen with his friend Seymour, the mouse, and there's the fridge with pictures and food they're about to eat. So let's find out about their friendship. Splat and Seymour were best friends. They did everything together. You and me, said Splat. Me and you, Seymour said. Friends forevermore. What can I do for my favorite friend, the friend I adore, wondered Splat. I know, I'll throw Seymour the best surprise party ever with treats and games galore. Let's see, there has to be cake and ice cream and candy, horns and streamers and balloons, fancy hats and much, much more. Now he's writing a list, it says today's list. And if you turn the book upside down, you might can read some of them. The next morning when Splat ran to call all his friends, Seymour ran too. Uh-oh, Splat thought. How can I plan or go to the store when I'm always with my friend Seymour? Splat tiptoed into the kitchen and whispered his plan to his mom. That's great, she said, but how can you get out the door without Seymour? I have an idea, said Splat. Seymour, why don't you play with little sis, said Splat. Mom and I have to go to the store and it's going to be such a bore. Seymour nodded, but he was surprised. He had never been left at home before. At the store, Splat piled the cart with more and more. There were too many yummy ice cream flavors for him to ignore. So he just got them all, it looks like. And you could count them and see how many flavors. At home, Splat told Seymour, I have to do some chores. Plank said you can visit him and you two can play outdoors. Won't that be fun? Seymour nodded, but he was puzzled. Why would Splat want him to play with Plank? Splat and Seymour had always done everything together before. I oh, know you would feel sad like that. If this were happening to you. 
Splat went to work. He baked a cheesecake for Seymour's party. Then he baked four more. He cooked cheese swirl cookies, but Splat still wanted more. He made a huge bowl of chocolate cheese pudding. What does it say on his hat? That's the kind of hat a baker wears. He's a chef. Spike is playing a soccer game and he asked me to keep score. I'll be back before you can shout. Seymour's whiskers drooped. Why was Splat leaving him out? Splat pedaled fast. He invited all his classmates. Then he invited more. Even Mrs. Wimpy Dimple and the cat twins next door. Finally, it was party day. Splat had to get Seymour away. Seymour, I promised Kitten I would play with her, but I have to do more chores. Could you go over without me? Seymour liked Kitten, so he agreed, but he felt sad. Didn't Splat want him around anymore? Splat had to decorate fast. He hung bright streamers, he blew up colorful balloons, and then he blew up more and more. If only Seymour knew what was in store, Splat had even made a banner that read, it's Seymour's party day. There's the cheesecake. That looks yummy. Kitten was decorating too. She was decorating Seymour. Let's play dress up. Look, here's a fancy outfit that my doll once wore. Kitten held out a mirror and Seymour jumped in surprise. As great as this outfit is, it's not my style, he said. I'm sorry that was such a bore. I found just the thing, said Kitten. It's a fairy dress and a sparkling wand. You can be a fairy princess to adore. No more, no more, yelled Seymour. Splat, I'm coming home even if you don't love me anymore. Seymour came in the door, his tail and whiskers sagged. He had never felt so alone before. Surprise, everybody yelled. Splat yelled the loudest. Seymour's eyes opened wide at the uproar. A party? A party just for me? That's why you kept me away? Hooray! Seymour ate ice cream and cake and candy and popcorn and cheese galore. He opened presents and he ate some more. But best of all, he was with Splat again. Oh, Splat! squeaked Seymour. This was the best party ever. You and me, said Splat. Me and you, Seymour said. Friends forevermore. They look like they're both so happy. And I know that that was hard for Seymour to uh, go through because he thought he'd been abandoned. But Sometimes that happens. We think someone's abandoned us, but truly they were just busy doing something else or maybe even planning something, something special for us. So come back and read this book with your parents, especially if you're a beginning reader, and work on these words. Adore and galore and before and an uproar. And remember Seymour wore a princess outfit? <laughs> so come back and practice your words and see the Splat and Cat book again. And on Wednesday, I'll be reading Owen by Kevin Hinks. And because I've been invited to do something special on Friday, I'm going to choose to do Nuffle Bunny tomorrow on Tuesday. So I'm changing my schedule a little bit, but you'll have this one early. Nuffle Bunny, Mo Willems is the author. So come back tomorrow and also Wednesday, and then we'll have a long break between Wednesday and Monday. But there are so many books you can choose from on my channel. Have a great Monday evening.